Hello folks, uh, this time it is uh, 2012, October, November, paper 2, 2 and the question number is 5. And this question is uh, concerned with the chapter current electricity. Uh, it says that uh, figure 5.1 shows a 12 volt power supply with a negative internal resistance, so no resistance here, connected to a uniform metal wire AB, AB, so it has been shown in bold. The wire has length 1.00 meters, that means 100 centimeters and resistance uh, 10 uh, ohms i can write it as uh, resistance of wire is equal to 10 ohm uh, two resistors of resistance 4 ohm and 2 ohm are connected in series across the wire so this is the wire so these uh, this is a series arrangement of 4 ohm and 2 ohm across this wire so uh, currents I1, I2 and uh, I3, so I1 is the current coming from the source, that means that uh, the current entering the source also should be equal to I1. I2 is the current uh, through this metal wire, so here it should also be I2. And uh, I3 is the current through this series arrangement, so here also it should be I3. I3. So the first question is, I uh, use Kursov's uh, first law to state a relationship between I1, I2, and I3. So it is current actually. So let us consider this node or this node. In this node, uh, I1 is incoming current. I2 and I3 are outgoing currents. That means this current I1 divides into I2 and I3. So what we must have is I1 gives rise to I2 plus I3. So it is I2 plus I3. I3. If I consider this node, I will then have incoming is I2 incoming is i3 and outgoing is i1 so it should be i2 plus i3 equal to i1 which is the same here now number two <coughs> excuse me in number two we have to calculate this i1 so this i1 is the current coming from the source so it should be equal to the value of emf by the total resistance of this whole arrangement so the total current or the uh, current coming from the source should be equal to the value of EMF divided by the whole resistance. Now the whole resistance is like this. So the resistance from A to B is 10 ohm. And here we have got this thing. So this arrangement seems somewhat like this. So we have a parallel arrangement of this is 10 ohm. This is 10 ohm. And this we have got 4 ohm. And then I have got 2 ohm and somewhat like this. So this thing looks like this arrangement. So it is the parallel of 10 and 6. 4 plus 2 6 so it's parallel to 6 so we should have first uh, r total r total should be equal to uh, 10 into 6 divided 10 plus 6 so it follows the relation r parallel is equal to r1 r2 by r1 plus r2 and it comes from that reverse relationship so 1 by rp equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 so it should be equal to, uh, it is uh, 60 by 16. So that should be equal to, let me use calculator. So it is 60 uh, divided 16 equal to, so it is 3.75 amperes. So it is uh, 3.75 amperes. Uh, so it is uh, 3.75 amperes. 3.75 amperes. Now, next is, Calculate the ratio x where x equal to power in metal wire, power in metal wire by power in the resistors. So that should be equal to uh, so power in wire by power in resistors in total should be equal to the potential difference v square by r of the wire by v square by r of the resistors. So this V is same for both of them. This is equal to 12 volts. So 12 volt here also and here also. So I use V. So I can cancel this and it becomes R resistor, R resistor by R of wire. R of wire is equal to, this is 4 plus 2, 6. 6 by 10 equal to 0 0.60. So X equal to 0 0.60. <coughs> now number B. In number B, we have to find Calculate the potential difference PD between the points C and D. So we have to find PD between C and D as shown in figure 5 and 1. The distance AC is AC is 40 cm and D is a point between the two series resistors. So uh, these things require some sort of comparison here. 
So uh, first, uh, in order to find the PD here, we have to find the PD between this thing and this thing. This thing is common to both. So for both, the potential is same. And from here to here, we have to find the PD. From here to here, we have to find the PD. So the difference between those two PDs will give us this PD. Or we can also do like that. We can find the PD here. We can find the PD here. And the difference gives the overall PD. So let's go for this wire. Uh, what we have is, for this 100 centimeter, 100 centimeter, 100 centimeter, the resistance is 10 ohm and the PD is 12 volt. So for 100 centimeter, the PD is equal to 12 volt. If so, for 1 centimeter, the PD should be 12 by 100. And for 40 centimeter, the PD should be 12 by 100 into 40. So this becomes this becomes a 12 divided 100 into 40 and that's equal to 4.8 equal to 4.8 volt so from here to here it is 4.8 volt now in this branch so from here to here it is 6 ohm so for 6 ohm for the difference of 6 ohm we have got to 12 volt 12 volt because in series there is voltage division so if I have got 1 ohm, then it will be 12 by 6 volt. And if it is a 4 ohm, then I will have 12 by 6 into 4 equal to 8 volts. So from here to here, it is 8 volts. So it is simply voltage division. So for 6 ohm, it is 12 volt. So if it is 4 ohm, then it is 8 volt. So now from here to here, 8. From here to here, 4.8. So that means VCD should be equal to, equal to, so this 8 minus 4.8 or I can do reverse. So it should be magnitude of 8 minus 4.8 which becomes equal to, equal to most probably 3.2 it should be. So 8 minus 4.8. Sorry, sorry, so it is 8 minus 4.2 equal to 4.8, sorry, 4.8, 8 is equal to 3.2 volts, 3.2 volts so it is 3.2 volts so that gives the complete answer to this question